If your ears are tired of the roar of the city, if your eyes long for green fields and quiet streams, let's turn back time to the days of childhood. A wave of the magic wand and presto, here we are, down on the farm. Do you remember how Mother used to send you down to the old spring to draw a bucket of cool, clear water? And did you like it? Well, not much, for that was a chore. But perhaps this could also be called plumbing trouble. After breakfast, the family files out in a morning parade, and the work of the day begins. The boys go down to the barn to take the cows out to pasture. Feller forgets to put the rails back in the gate. Now it's time to get out the team for a morning in the fields. The girls are on hand to lend encouragement. quickly in the field as the boys and girls follow the reaper, cutting and stacking the fragrant new wheat. Almost before you know it, it's noon. And mother rings the bell for dinner. And then things begin to happen. the end of the year when the holiday season begins, this kind of bird will be very popular. 
well roasted with stuffing, cranberry jelly, and all the fixings. But now he's just another barnyard fowl, just another mouth to be filled with grains of ripe corn. Mother has decided to take a snapshot to add to the collection in the old family album. Every kid on the farm has a pet of some sort, and here's one of which they're all especially proud. It's a raccoon, which city folk will recognize as the raw material for the overcoats seen at college football games. The raccoon is the only animal that always goes to the best college. A pleasant bubbling brook flows through the woods nearby, and there the boys and girls go to wade in the cool water and seek adventure. Just another fish story. One of the boys has become a hunter of big game. He's going to bring them back alive. on the big wagon, and what youngster could ask for a more luxurious ride than this? Up they go, and soon they're on their way home to supper. sinks over the rolling hills, the shadows grow longer and blacker, and the quiet of evening falls over the scene of our memories. 